Fragments of cedar are meticulously shaved and carved from a 14-foot log under the watchful eyes of students in the foyer at Ladysmith Secondary School. Zimina's sure First Nation master carver, John Marston, is coaxing the form of an eagle out of the log, which will become a welcoming figure at the school, helping to forge Aboriginal understandings in the community. Our foyer, when our school was um, renovated, it was never finished. And for a long time, our staff and students in our community has been looking for a way to bring Coast Salish understandings and recognition to the forefront of our educational experience and our experience together as a community. The students learn the Hulkamainam language, hear stories from Semina's elders, and participate in other activities, including working with Marston on creating a Coast Salish feel at the school. The work we're doing now is transformative because we're working together. The title of our project, Not Smart Cies, working together as one. This is how we'll move forward together. The first stage of the project that began over two years ago saw Marston carve four traditional house posts that now stretch upwards just inside the main entry doors. Students are busy weaving mats to adorn the walls while Marston works on the eagle. The welcome carving is part of uh, a traditional way of welcoming people into your territory and the, the posts in behind have become like what we're creating is like a, a, a house for our students to walk into or for people to walk into and we're creating a space that is culturally rich and um, that kind of feels like, feels like home. The Working Together as One project is seen as the first steps on the road to reconciliation. This project is really important uh, to my job as a uh, as a First Nation teacher here in Ladysmith, where uh, my main goal and objective is to teach uh, non-First Nation people about our culture and our language, and to have a project as big as this to come in and, and uh, show our, our students uh, the beauty of our culture, the beauty of our language, and our, to see our First Nation students grow and get a lot stronger seeing their own culture right in there. Old school. As we work together toward truth and reconciliation, the best way to do that is to come with an open heart and an open mind and a willingness to listen and to learn. And, and I think we have that now. We have that happening. And it just feels really beautiful. Coming together now is just part of a whole new uh, way of thinking that uh, the, uh, our society is coming to. And we're looking at things differently than we did 20 years ago, where um, cultural diversity is becoming our strong, strong aspect of who we are as a nation. We have a long ways to go to, to make things uh, better, but it only happens, I think it happens one person at a time. The great thing about Lady Smith is, is that everyone's, everyone wants change, and everyone wants things to be better for, for our children and for our own lives.